Hello guys, how are you? Sorry I've been gone, I've actually been doing my job. Which is why my friend here has joined us for this video so I can use it as a visual cue for what I'm going to talk to you about today. Now when I build an acoustic guitar, I like to think about each component as its own finished piece. That way it kind of instills into you the idea that everything has to be of a certain quality. And that way, when you compile everything together, all of your components that you've beautifully prepared, it will feel like the instrument's just been born beautiful on its own. There are so many types of components, some bigger, some smaller, that go into making an acoustic guitar, especially a luthier built instrument. From the truss rod cover that I inlay with magnets, that really never gets old, by the way. <laughs> to the copper dots I inlay as fret markers to help you find your way up the fingerboard. Now, one of the components that I really do enjoy making is the back of a guitar. And that's because it combines all of my favorite aspects of guitar making into one component. You've got the return to traditional hand tools because things like the join, you're not gonna get absolutely right if you don't use a very sharp plane. You've got chiseling, you've got cutting the notches in the back strip. Really delicate work, but work that will show if you do a bad job of it. As a craftsperson, I do find it really fulfilling when it does go well, so I'm gonna let you into my process today and show you how I go about making a guitar back. I'll be using some beautiful Welsh walnut that was felled in North Wales, and since the client is Welsh, it's just like a really nice story and a really nice timber to be working with for this project. A couple of videos ago, I showed you me making a guitar top. Now that guitar top is actually for this guitar back, their repair, so I thought it'd be a nice continuation to show you the back coming together. I'm gonna jump in at a couple parts to tell you what's going on in the video, but otherwise enjoy. Thank you. 
I usually thickness the braces by a hand plane, but today I used the drum sander because I've just undergone some thorough maintenance on it and it is performing like a dream. So if you're wondering why I haven't filmed that, it's because I got too carried away with the exciting precision of this machine. I'm only human. <laughs> I just want to talk here about the purposeful grain direction when it comes to guitar making. Now, everything in guitar making components, like there is a choice that's been made about grain direction usually. And the choice that I've made here is to put the spruce backstrip at a perpendicular. I think that's the, is that terminology? Crisscrossed, let's say, very technical, against the joint of the back. What this does is literally just provide extra support, but I just wanted to drop in and help you notice these little things which do go into luthier built instruments that you may not always think about. found this really interesting. Uh, the back is just looking splendid and I can't wait to hear what it's going to be like on the finished instrument. I'll, again, be sure to share that with you when the time comes. A few of you guys have been asking how you can support the channel, so I have set up a Patreon there where you can go and support so that I can basically upgrade equipment and maybe get some help with the editing eventually. If you want to do that, the link's in bio, no pressure at all. All I care about really is you guys showing up and very kindly watching me whenever I post. It means a lot and it's 
pretty cool. Otherwise, I will see you next time. And I've got an amazing project coming up in January and I cannot wait to share that with you. So please do like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed so you don't miss that. Take care, see you soon.